hi guys welcome to another audio video and i'm reading isaiah 50 of the king james version bible and it reads thus saith the lord where is the bill of your mother's divorcement whom i have put away or which of my creditors is it to whom i have sold you behold for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves and for your transgressions is your mother put away wherefore when i came was there no man when i called was there none to answer is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem or have i no power that deliver behold at my rebuke i dry up the sea i made the rivers a wilderness their fish stinketh because there is no water and dieth for thirst i clothe the heavens in blackness and i make sackcloth their covering the lord god hath given me the tongue of the learned that i should know how to speak a word in session to him that is weary he wakeneth the morning by morning he wakeneth mine ear to hear has the learned the lord god hath opened mine ear and i was not rebellious neither turned away back i gave my back to the smiters to the smiters sorry guys and my cheeks to them that pluck off the air i hid not my face from shame and spitting for the lord god will help me therefore shall i not be confounded therefore have i set my face like a flint and i know that i shall not be ashamed he is near that justifieth me who will contend with me let us stand together who is my ad who is mine adversary let him come near to me behold the lord god will help me who is he that shall condemn me lo the all shall wax old as a garment and moth shall eat them up who is among you that feareth the lord that obeyeth the voice of his servant that walketh in darkness and hath no light let him trust in the name of the lord and stay upon his god behold all ye that kindle a fire that compass yourselves about with sparks walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that ye have kindled this shall ye have of mine hand ye shall lie down in sorrow all right guys so in this chapter we see where the prophet isaiah is speaking with confidence the confidence that god brings right he knows that the lord is on his side he knows that the lord will fight for him he knows that he need not fear man because he serves a powerful god and so he's questioning them. He's basically like, it sounds almost like taunting them. Because he's saying, you know what? I want to show you the power of my God. Will you contend with me? Who is my adversary? Because my Lord is backing me up. So guess what? He will deal with you. If you come at me, it will definitely come at you. So what do you say? okay and why will you not obey the voice of god i mean he's such a great god he's the only true and living god the only one of israel the redeemer of souls why would you not seek him out why would you not seek him out why would you not hear him trust in god trust in him have confidence in him and he will strengthen you he will be there for you and he will guide you all right guys that's all i wanted to say from this okay all right guys so please remember to continue to walk in your salvation it might be hard at times but do not be discouraged press on okay guys there's no time like the present to serve god and so if you have not yet begun there's no better time than the present okay guys 
have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.